metaphysics. It is not equal battle. He can take any shape. He can see us while we can't see him. We are saying about the things with the shaitan, ask Allah. When Allah sentences him to be cursed, before he go, he asks some requests from Allah as a reward for his worshiping. Worship Allah a lot. So he told him, Ya Allah, I need my reward. So Allah asked him, what rewards you need? So we have a list of requests. The first one that he requests to Allah, give him ample time until the judgment day. So he will not go to the hellfire now. Allah grant him that. He will give you time. Second, he requests to have a power on the children of Adam. He can affect them. Allah grant him that. Third, he asked Allah to be very close to them. He told them, Ya Allah, make me close to them than even their blood. Then Allah told him, run in their blood vessels. That's how much he's so close to us. Then he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that every uh, uh, son of Adam get a newborn, give me two. So uh, says the Hidul Abrar, he has three children, the shaitan has six, and regardless boys or girls. So he's outnumbered us. Then he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for something more stronger. He said, Ya Allah, make me invisible to them, but they are visible to me. I can see them, but they can't see me. Oh, Ya yeah, Allah, what is this? He can witness us, he can see us, while we can't. And then he requested from Allah that Allah give him the power to take the shape of anything. He can take the shape of man. He can take the shape of woman. He can take the shape of cat or rabbit or bird or dog or anything. Allah grant him that. So he can take the image or the shape of anything. Then he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make their hearts as my hometown. Make my home in their hearts. Of course, the heart here does not mean the, the organ. No, the heart means the focus of your brain. Your consciousness. Make me live in their consciousness. That's why we struggle all the time. Yeah, people, focus on the, your hereafter. But they draw back their attention to the dunya. Who is behind that? The shaitan. So all his requests, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him that. So Adam was witnessing. He told him, Ya Allah, you give, he is, uh, he is outpowered me. You give him everything. What is for me and for my children? Because Allah justice, what you give me in return? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, Ya Adam, al hasana al sayyi'ah bi wahida Every bad deed will count as a one. wal hasana bi ashara And every good deed will be written as ten. And every bad deed, you, if you did it, you, it will be counted as one. If you think but you didn't do it, it will count, count as a good deed. And if you did it, it will be counted as a one. While the good deed, if you think only about it, but you didn't do it, it will count as a one. If you do it, if you did it, it will count as a ten. Then Adam asked Allah, Ya Allah, give me more. See the difference? The shaitan dictates the requests. But Adam didn't request specific things. He just asked Allah to give me more. And this is a big difference. When you make conditions to Allah, it's different than you ask Allah, give me from your generosity.